Okay guys, now this is a shopping haul unlike most of my shopping hauls. This is not just a shopping haul video, this is the start of my postnatal freezer meal prep video series. Now, I am very impressed, <laughs> if I, even if I do say so myself, with how I did. This is a two week shop from Woolworths in Australia. Now, uh, this is a two week shop for 10 people. I am also in this fortnight going to be freezing an additional 10 to 12, can't remember precisely, meals to freeze for the postnatal period. Now, I'm currently um, in my 28th week of pregnancy and I did discuss in my postnatal meal plan um, video that I did a couple of weeks ago that this is when I'm going to be starting. So each week for the ne next six or seven weeks, um, I'm going to be freezing a bunch of meals in preparation for baby number nine. Okay, so I've got a lot of work that I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be taking you guys along for the ride. But what I want, okay, so this shop for two weeks for 10 people plus an additional dozen meals, evening meals, came to $605.73. So I'm so happy with that. It took planning and dedication. Now the reason why, uh, usually a two week shop for me, even without those additional meals, I would probably spend more than that. 10 people, Australia, you're looking at a good $400 a week, even when you're being careful. But I've managed to get two weeks plus, plus, plus additional meals for 600 with some very careful planning because um, I have home births and I have to pay for a midwife. It's out of pocket here in Australia for for the most part, apart from some, you do get some Medicare rebate with your antenatal and postnatal visits pretty much, but the rest is you're out many thousands of dollars. So I have to save. <laughs> but if I can feed my family like this and uh, manage to save, um, then that is very good. Okay, so I'm going to show you through. Now I've even had to put things on the floor. So I have 10 times three liters of milk, so 30 liters for the two weeks. I do have some long life milk if we have to pull it out, but we don't tend to go through more than about two liters a day for the 10 of us, we just don't. Um, and then I got a big block of cheese. I got some sliced cheese. I got a couple of these yogurts because I was hungry when I was doing the online shop. So they're for me. Um, and then I got a couple of organic butters, so they're to have sort of on toast because they're very yummy. And then a couple of home brand butters, they are for baking. And then I got a couple of 600ml creams, I got five 700 gram grated cheese, I got six lots of sour cream, a couple of lots of cream cheese, so that's the dairy. And um, after I've shown you this, if you stay to the end of the video, I will, I will be going through my meal plan, not just for this fortnight, but for what I'm freezing this fortnight. Um, and I will be uploading videos of me actually preparing and freezing the meals. That will be a separate video again, so do look out for that. And then toiletries, I've got nappies in a couple of different sizes. I've really only got one in nappies during the day now. Um, I've got two in nappies um, at night um, and then I've got an older child who wears night nappies and then I've got a bunch of wipes lots of toilet paper and then I've just got some these were half price I think antibacterial wipes I find them really handy for quick bathroom cleanups I've got a couple of an in-wash soaker um, I've got this these things in a plastic bag because this um, laundry detergent actually was open a little bit and has leaked. I got a nice big thing of bleach and some other laundry detergents and then just some soap. Um, that's all we needed as far as household and um, toiletry items go this fortnight. Then uh, as far as meat goes, uh, I've got a whole heap of minced beef that goes back here as well. I think I've got seven kilo here. And then I've got a lot of blades 
steak. That's for a couple of the different couple of different meals that I'm doing, and also freezing. Um, a lot of that, and then also I've got lots and lots of chicken thighs, chicken thigh fillet. I've got lots of that. I can't remember exactly how much. I think I've got at least six kilo there. Okay, as far as fruit and veggies go, I've got three kilo of onions. I've got three lots of pre-diced mushrooms. I only got the pre-diced ones because they were cheaper. I have a big pumpkin and I have only six bananas. <laughs> which seems crazy that's just to get me through a day or so and I will find some bananas elsewhere I just was not happy with the price three dollars ninety a kilo I know I can get them cheaper elsewhere so I just didn't do it uh, carrots about four red capsicums a couple of bags of coleslaw just for you know a lazy night two kilo of nectarines the other one is up here and then a huge bag of potatoes, huge bag, four kilo. So I think I'm doing mash with that for a couple of the meals that I'm doing. Two big bags of Granny Smith apples, some lovely looking grapes there, bag of crushed tomatoes, bunch of spring onions, some lemons and limes, two lots of celery, that was at a good price. So I've got two big lots, I can eat lots of celery. Two lots of strawberries, uh, baby leaf spinach, uh, kale mix, two huge watermelons. <laughs> they came at a good price. I think they were around five dollars each, so that's quite good. Um, and in addition to these fruit and veggies, I am going to be utilizing some frozen veggies I've already got, and I have tin fruit if I need to get into it, and all that sort of thing. Um, and you know at the end of towards the end of the fortnight I may be going back and just getting a little bit of extra fruit and a little bit of extra milk we will see I can't see myself spending more than another 50 bucks so it's still really good okay I've got four five lots of bread now I don't think we'll use more than this in the fortnight I've stopped giving the kids sandwiches every day for lunch I think this week they had sandwiches one day um, but yeah, I've just stopped doing it. So really the only, you know, the odd person has the odd piece of toast sort of thing. Okay. Then proof that I'm going to be doing some freezer meal prep. This is for soups. I'm going to be freezing some pumpkin soup this fortnight. And then I've got a whole heap of trays. Um, and two trays will do one meal for our family. So um, I think I've got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen trays. So that'll do about nine meals, um, but then I think I've already got a couple of trays up in the cupboard um, and soups will go in here. Then frozen things, I got four litres of ice cream. The kids only have that really once a week. On a Friday night we have dessert and then a couple of packets of potato wedges, a couple of packets of garlic bread, We're having lasagna tomorrow night. Um, and also um, having people over and doing lasagna and then I'm also freezing two lasagnas. Um, two minute noodles, these are for a really simple lazy night. You've got to have this sort of thing in the house. <laughs> uh, I need these for a recipe, olives and more olives. A couple of things of coconut milk and almond milk because we like it, oh I like it. <laughs> Some beef stocks, I need I needed a whole heap of tomato paste for the various recipes that I'm doing. And then pearl couscous, that's for, I'm doing a chicken tagine. Uh, I'm freezing two, I only need the couscous for the one we'll be eating this week though, not for the ones we'll be freezing. And then a lot of lasagna sheets. A couple of big things of cereal. We already have some cereal, wheat bix and cornflakes and that sort of thing, but I love the plus what is it this is the yeah I love plus omega-3 it's really yummy it's got nuts and things in it it's really yum so I got that and I also got the iron one because I think that one's nice too that was half they were half price so got those and then I got fiery Mexican bean creations Spanish 
chorizo bean creations, and then just a couple of things of baked beans. I actually thought I got more baked beans and stuff. Oh well, I'll have to check my list. <laughs> um, and then I got a couple of tins, big tins of tuna. Chow mein we're having another week, but these, but these were a good deal this week, so I just picked them up to put in the pantry. And then some water crackers because I like crunchy things at the moment. <laughs> and then um, some premium crackers, and then just some. And then just some Woolworths brand crackers, a few packets of those, and also, also some original Right Beta. I really love these, especially with cream cheese. Okay, I think that is it. So lots and lots of food, and they're not just, you know, I've got lots of nappies. i got heaps of meat, you know, that sort of stuff is expensive. So I'm so pleased that I got all of this for just over $600. i am really Okay guys, I am going to finish off this video by giving you a rundown of our week, our two week meal plan and show you how this is going to include a lot of extra meals. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 meals um, possibly. I'm, I don't know if I'm doing this one yet, I think I am though, so possibly 12 plus some individual yeah. pumpkin soups that I'm going to freeze. So I'll give you a rundown to show you how all that food is providing two weeks worth of food. Um, and, you know, I am using some things that I've already got frozen. So I'll show you what's happening there. Okay. So last night, while waiting for the online shop to arrive, we had chicken wing, uh, chicken wing stew. And I used leftover, like, the last of the veggies that we had and some chicken wings that I had in the freezer and that sort of thing. I did that in the slow cooker. I actually recorded it as a really short video. I'll probably upload it around the same time as this just as a, a bonus video if you want to see what I did there. Okay, and then, so Penny Royal Chicken, I do have a video on that, so I will leave the link. I made a video a couple of years ago on that, and that is a family recipe, something my mum made up, and it's delicious and really simple. Um, and it's, yeah, it's so yummy. That's a family favourite. So I'm going to make that with some of that chicken I showed you, plus I'm going to freeze too for the postnatal period. Um, uh, with the second lot of chicken that I purchased, I'm going to make a chicken tagine and I'm also going to freeze two of those. Then with all that beef that you saw, I think it was, was it gravy beef? I can't remember. Um, regardless, because I'm going to do things low and slow, um, I'm making beef stroganoff. Um, Plus, I'm going to freeze two, so that would be part of the cream that you saw as well. So I like to make a real, a real beef stroganoff, a real French one. <laughs> um, and then um, the question mark is veg, uh, vegetable and beef stir fry and freeze two. I had that sort of, sort of as a, an extra thing that I was going to do, and then I was wondering about the, you know, the price of the beef, whether I could get enough. But it looks like I've bought heaps and heaps of beef. So I think I've got enough to also do that. And then um, with the mints that I got, I'm making lasagnas tonight. I'm making a double batch because we've got people over. Um, plus I'm going to freeze too. So that accounts for four kilo of the mints is for um, a big batch tonight plus two to freeze. And then with the remainder of the mints that I purchased, I'm going to make just a simple like taco beef and bean sort of mix with taco seasoning and, and um, maybe some veggies or whatever. And I'm going to freeze too. And we will have that probably, we've got lots of corn chips. So I'll probably have that with corn chips. And I've got, as you saw, some sour cream, that sort of thing. And then the two that we freeze, we could have it with anything. We could have it with tortillas, um, you name it, <laughs> something Mexican. Um, and then I bought a big pumpkin, so I'm going to make pumpkin soup. I'll chuck some, a few potatoes in there to thicken it up and extend it a bit. And um, I'm, whatever's left, I'll freeze individual portions. And then the... Oh, Isaac, do you want to say hello? hello? Say hello. What have you got there? Sylvanian family toys? Yeah? Okay. And then to make up the remainder of the two weeks... Um, so things that we're just going to eat but not freeze include, I've 
still got um, some chicken wings and also I think some chicken breast fillets in the uh, freezer. And I can marinate the wings already marinated, but I can also marinate the the chicken breast. And I bought some wedges and coleslaw to have with that. And then I've also got a big bag of fish, um, just white fish fillets frozen as well. So I thought I'd make a fish pie, which I've never made. I think I've also got some pastry to do that, but even if I don't, I can easily make my own pastry. And I've got fro lots of frozen veggies, so I can add that to it. Um, and I've, yeah, I've never made it, but there's plenty of recipes around. So I'll have a look into that. Um, and then I've got some slow cooker, I think it's lemon garlic chicken, I think, in the deep freezer as well. Um, and I might add some veggies and maybe some, um, oh, I might add some cream cheese or something and make it like a creamy, garlicky, chickeny, vegetable-y <laughs> thing in the slow cooker one day. And then just really simple things. We'll have bacon and eggs one night. I've got heaps of eggs left that we, we just haven't been eating many eggs lately. It must be the warmer weather. And then I've got bacon in the freezer. And then two minute noodles. You know, sometimes that's just so simple and people actually like it. So it's okay to have that sometimes. And then question mark for the 14th night. Um, so we'll probably just have leftovers or we might have takeaway one night or we might go to someone's place for dinner um, Or I might just make it an easy hey guys make yourself some cereal because occasionally we do that too People have like eggs or porridge or something really simple for dinner Especially if we've been out for like afternoon tea and had lots of treats and people are just not very hungry So anyway, I like to leave at least one if not two nights open every two weeks because there always is plenty of food to cover that night so that is the plan to show you that i would that i really won't have to purchase much more i will go back for some bananas perhaps um, this doesn't include anything i get um, from nqr which is an outlet store um, I like to go there once a week, sometimes once a fortnight and just get what I can that's at a ridiculously low cost and put it under my stairs for my extended pantry and build that up. But, you know, I usually only like, I did go there today, I'm not doing a haul, I only got a few things, but I spent under $30. Um, so, uh, yeah, usually if I go there, I'll spend anywhere from $30 to $100. If I spend $100, I get like an entire shopping trolley worth. And you know, that's, that's a different sort of budget to this. So anyway, but this is our two week eating plan and budget. And uh, yeah, it was what $605 for all of that, including freezing an extra 12 meals to feed 10 people so I'm really impressed with that and it included all our household and baby and um, toiletry sort of products that we needed for the fortnight so it's excellent anyway guys I'm rambling on thank you so much for watching take care please subscribe if you have not already and I will be um, making a video on how I make and um, you know set these out showing you them in their in their trays and how I freeze them where I freeze them all of that sort of thing I'm going to be making a, a video each week um, or each two weeks to show you what I've done in that time um, because this um, postnatal freezer meal prep will go on for uh, the next two months so that is a series in and of itself so look out for that and hit that bell so that you receive notifications when I do put a new video up. Okay guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.